So people are furious about this Keith Lee situation. We got we have talked about this so many times a little bit, but we really haven't dove into it. So we have a couple of news stories here that I do want to talk about. Mike Bennett talking about WWE helping him. Chris Jericho saying he almost died in a couple other little stories. Tonight's Monday Night Raw. But going back to the Keith Lee uh, situation, we got to talk about this. And I admit there is something about Keith Lee that has seemed a little bit off uh, since he's come to the main roster. But, you know, to me, the thing that's been off is the fact that they put him in a weird singlet thing or whatever. Uh, just weird wrestling attire that, you know, I'm not used to seeing him in. They didn't put Otis in that attire. And, you know, potentially that they want Keith Lee to be more serious than Otis, and that's the case. Well, Otis and Keith Lee have something in common. They both went down to the PC. Now, believe it or not, there's been two different arguments on this situation so far. The one argument is from everybody flipping out that, oh, my God, how dare they take him down to the PC, right? How dare they? And even I've said this. I've said, are you serious? Like, uh, this is what we're really doing right now? And I've been a, I've been upset, too. But you could look at it that way, that this is insulting, ridiculous. Well, what about, you know, sending somebody else down who sucks? You know what I mean? Why isn't, you know, Nia Jax down there? Why isn't uh, Billy Kay down there? And, and, and to the counter to that is that, you know, potentially they don't care about Billy Kay the same way. They don't care about Billy Kay. So this could be seen as a good thing. Listen, Vince really, really wants to push the hell out of Otis and Keith Lee, and there's just these things that they're doing as big men that Vince don't like. Get them down there. Get them trained the way that Vince wants it to go, and then things are going to work out so much better. You know, oh, well, what about Billy Kay? Well, Vince McMahon probably in the back says, what about Billy Kay? I don't give a damn about a Billy Kay at all. Just ever go out there and do some stupid dance or something. You know, he doesn't care. So, you know, we could look at it this way, that at least they seemingly care, right? But they care so much. I mean, they just, whatever it is, whatever it is though, I think the problem is we know it's wrong, right? We just know that they're going to handle things probably wrong. So is it good news that they aren't, that they are some, that they're interested in doing these things? I guess so. I guess if, you know, you have to admit that, okay, they're trying to train them a certain way on purpose because they care. They didn't care. They just let them float around and suck and go away, you know. Um, but what's the reason Aleister Black isn't on TV? You know, Aleister Black's not being sent to NXT, so maybe d they just don't like him at all. You know, it's just everything seems to be wrong in the WWE right now. You know, like Dio Madden. How long Dio Madden has been in the developmental of NXT and everything else for seven years. Do you realize this? Seven years. Is he not what Vince McMahon wants? He's a big, huge guy. So, and he hasn't even really been featured much besides what he's done in this retribution stuff. But what, what, what happens with Dio Madden? Is he ever going to pan out? I mean, is that guy ever going to work out? What, what is he doing? That's not what Vince wants. What is he what is he doing that's just whatever? Or is he just another body, whatever? So is that a good example of, you know, they don't really care that much about you right now. They tried to put him on the Raw announce team, you know, but that was seemingly just to set up the Lesnar thing. Now originally we all thought he was really going to be on the announce team and it didn't work out, so then they got him off the announce team. That may be true, but we don't really know, but it did seem like maybe that in the end that they actually were setting up this stuff for Lesnar. Uh, but I don't remember enough about that to give you a good evaluation of what the hell I thought was going on. But as we continue here in this video talking about Keith Lee, I'm going to show you the poll numbers in just a second. You guys gave us poll numbers uh, this morning when I put out a Twitter poll. But as I do that, I do want to shout out to Shell down below, new $25 producer. This video today is brought to you by all the producers on Patreon. But of course, Shell is a new one. So uh, down below, Shell, thank you. And all the other... Um, current recent patrons of this week too down below popping up thank you guys for supporting the show on Patreon without this uh, support on Patreon uh, we would be it would be we'd be in trouble man we are back to 305 patrons we have so many shows coming up on Patreon this week including me and Jake breaking down a couple hours worth of stuff so if you can it is the Christmas season all I want for Christmas is for you guys to become a patron for at least a dollar uh, now, if you can go up above that, that'd be sick and sweet. And, of course, join the $25 producers. That'd be really cool. 
Uh, we definitely need your funding and backing. We don't really have that many ads. But we do have one ad coming up right now because you guys asked me about my backyard grill the other day. How about that? This fucking thing rages. By the way, I just get demonetized because I said the F word. This thing friggin' rages. You guys asked me about this. If uh, I was luckily, you know, given it uh, as a gift, it's on sale. For $100, you can get the small one. For $200, you can get the bigger one. And, you know, everybody always wants the bigger one. And this is just a wonderful stove in the backyard. Fill it with big wooden logs. You put the exhaust pipe on the top of it. The I guess it's its fireplace, really. And not only can you stay kind of warm, you know, it really warms your feet and, and warms the area. You can also put heating fans on top of it that are powered by the heat of the stove. And uh, then you guys can put the... Uh, you can put food and cook on it. So you can cook on it. It's great for camping, great for the backyard, all that stuff. Listen to this sound. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. That noise is beautiful. The sound of it cooking. I made tea. I made uh, eggs. Had a blast. 100 bucks. You guys can even put, the, put it eventually, put it in the house and install the pipe. Outside the house, obviously, you don't want to die of carbon monoxide, whatever. But uh, and you could you could heat your heat a whole room. You know, something happens, the the grid goes down, the power goes down, whatever the case may be. Also, one other thing, real quickly, to talk about before we continue on this Keith Lee thing and a few other things, is yes, I did see the Sean Ross Sap took a shot at me without. Now I'm blocked, so I can't see his tweets. So this coward is tweeting about me while I'm blocked, and he. Uh, it all started when MJF said he was going to roast Fightful. And he said, oh, if I spell something wrong or have improper grammar, it's only because I don't care. And he made fun of uh, MJF. But really, that wasn't really a very hard dig on Sean Ross Sapp. You could really done a lot more. JD pointed this out by saying, you're being generous uh, to MJF. To which Sean Ross Sapp responded, Cronin-esque in your critique. I mean, it, I, am I really that important that the guy thinks of me that much? That Cronin-esque in your critique? Good God, man. Sean, can you unblock me so we can fight like fucking adults on Twitter? Oh, my God. I wish he would just unblock me so we could fight like adults. Sean Ross Sapp, I, I don't know yet what he is. I'm not really sure. Like, there's part of me that if he reached out to me so we could talk, you know what I mean? I, I really think that we probably would just get along and everything would be cool because I, really I don't really have, you know, any issues with anybody for real. It's just a lot of fun shitting on everybody. Um... And if we got along, I'd probably stop talking about it and uh, just move along, man, because, uh, you know, I respect everybody. But, you know, but there's a part of me that thinks that he's like a sniveling douchebag hall monitor type of person. And I, I don't know, man. I don't know yet if that's him. But if he wants to, he can always reach out to me and uh, we can bury the hatchet or whatever. Unlike Ryback, who will never bury any hatchet. Um, but yeah, throwing my name out there and I'm blocked, so I couldn't see that. But thank you to all you guys who sent me that, uh, screenshot and said, what the fuck is with this dude? Um, I don't know, man. Very Cronin-esque. It's weird. Well, well, JD is a bigger douchebag than I am. So if Sean Ross th Sapp, uh, thinks that, you know, that's Cronin-esque, I mean, J JD is fucking super Cronin, uh, whatever. But anyway, uh, I thought that was interesting. Thanks for sending me that. Very funny. Very interesting. Um, Chris Jericho said on Twitter the other day, uh, in a TLC match between, uh, the big show and Chris Jericho and D-Generation X at TLC in, uh, December, 2009, during the finish of the match, Jericho standing on the big show's massive shoulders was supposed to go flying over the top rope, crash through the table after show gets super kicked by Shawn Michaels. However, Jericho suffered an awkward landing with only his face Bouncing off the table. Jesus. Upon watching the clip on Twitter, Jericho revealed he almost died from the botched spot. Lance Storm, a good friend of Jericho, chimed in and said, Jesus, put that on the what the hell was I thinking list. Um, he did. Jericho did write, I almost died. Let me watch the clip and see what uh, what's going on here with this. Looks like it's a gif. Super kick. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. I see what happened. Yeah. When, so Jericho... When Jericho was on top of the Big Show, he he needed to jump off Big Show and then go through the table. But when he jumped and pushed down, he didn't either either Big Show's shoulders moved 
or he wasn't able to plant his foot enough to push off. So instead, he just like started swimming in the air, falling before the table, and he hit his head on the table. That would have looked cool, man. If that, uh, if he had, you know, if he had gone through that table, that really would have made that spot look a hell of a lot better. To be honest, that's definitely no doubt. But going back to the Keith Lee situation, you know, so again, this seems like it might be a good thing if you want to look at glasses half full is that they seemingly care enough to put Keith Lee in this situation. Now, going to the poll that I put up, which is new, and you guys can still vote on this, and we'll catch up on this later. Obviously, it's early in the morning, 27 votes. That's not a lot. I'm, I'm assuming this poll will eventually get to hundreds, you know, 200, 300 maybe. Uh, thoughts on Keith Lee being sent down. Is it good, normal, bad? And by sent down, I meant sent down for training. I probably should have made that a little more you know, well-known in the comment, in the poll. And, you know, you guys are pretty split to me. Uh, it is interesting that 40% of you chose die, Vince, die. 29% uh, of you chose don't care. And there is a split decision on good, that means they care, or bad, he's already perfect. So that's split. So, But what I can tell you from this poll is that most people do think it's not a good thing. Especially since Die Vince Die is winning. I mean, that's not a. <laughs> Maybe I should not have put that on there, dude. So we could have gotten some kind of accurate representation. I don't know, but that's pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> die Vince Die. There is a part of me that knew that was gonna win, though. Come on, you know what I mean. But uh, anyway, if you guys want to check out that that backyard stove that you can use to heat your home or your backyard, you can cook on all that stuff, that backyard alpine stove. If you guys want to check that out, the link to my Amazon uh, link is down below. You guys can use that to go there and get the special price on the grill. It's not a grill. It's a stove, but I, I keep calling it a grill. It's, it's a stove. It's a heating stove. You can put a tent over it. You know, tents have a hole in the top of them. You exhaust out the top of the tent. You can heat the tent, go camping, sleep in the nice warm air uh, of the uh, of the wonderful Alpine stove. I mean, the thing is friggin' amazing. And if you know, if one of your friends wants to get this thing, man, they're gonna love it. It's great. You can fit a bunch of wood in it. Here's some here's some goofy guy putting it together, putting wood in it. The thing is heavy though. I will tell you that the, the, this this thing is super heavy. I don't know what this guy's gonna try to. This guy's gonna try to fornicate with it. I think he's gonna try to f it. Uh, by the looks of this guy, so you can see this guy's having a good old time. You know what I mean? Now, now he probably just fired this thing up because I can see the smoke coming off the grill. I don't know what's going on with his with his stove here, but this smoke doesn't come off the sides of it when it's cooking the right way. It's just coming out the pipe, and it's got a damper, a dampener in there. That you can adjust uh, the smoke and all the other stuff. Anyway, whatever. My link is down below. There's a there's a cheaper one for a hundred bucks. There's the big one for two hundred bucks, man. All, Alpine uh, makes this thing is badass. Like I absolutely love this thing. So shout out to um, mom, got me a good gift, and shout out to this guy who's gonna cook some hot dogs and beer on top of the thing. So if the grid ever goes down, you're gonna want one of these in the backyard. And you're going to want some matches, too, because lighting a fire is a pain in the butt. I'm Joe Cronin. I hope you guys liked the video. hope you guys hit the like button. What do you guys think about Keith Lee going down uh, to NXT for some more training, going to the PC for more training? Now, again, tr the training is Keith Lee is a wonderful wrestler who can do amazing things, crazy stuff even. But he's basically going down to be trained on the way Vince wants it done, which is... Fine, and it, it's okay in a way, and maybe it, it's maybe it's gonna work out. Maybe we'll all be wrong, and it will work out. But there's a part of me that can't help but think of Howard Stern, Private Parts, when they're patronizing the shit out of Howard Stern when he gets the job at NBC, and the guy's like, "I'll make him so crazy he quits." W N B C, you know? Oh, you're not saying the call letters the right way. I, I think I'm saying them just fine. Uh, WNBC. You're listening to WNBC. Oh, no, no. It's, we want it done the way we want it done, which is WNBC. You got a WN. And, and, you know, what happens is all this micro, uh, micro, I almost said microaggression, <laughs> as if I give a shit about those. 
By the way, if you're somebody out there who ever gets upset and says something like, he was making microaggressions, like, dude, listen, there's probably a gun store near you somewhere. Go get one and blow yourself away, okay? He was making microaggressions. <laughs> just just shoot. Just just end it, man. If you're uh, go go drop yourself down. Uh but no, but no, um micromanaging is the word. Uh micromanaging. If you're somebody, you know, if they're going to micromanage people enough in the WWE, you know what's going to happen, man. People are going to quit, they're going to want to leave. You're going to end up with Dash and Dawson in AEW. Anyway, that's it. Everything uh, everything is done. I'm done saying everything I wanted to say. I hope you guys comment on it down comment on Am I having a stroke? Comment on it down below. I hope you guys check out the new patrons uh, scrolling down below as well. Thank you to them. We'll have the new $25 Patreon list updated again, and I'll have that for you guys today or tomorrow. Tonight is the Monday Night Raw review. I'll see you live after Monday Night Raw. I'm Joe Cronin. Go to my Patreon, or baby seals will be clubbed to death. Here's some of the videos that are popping up that you probably might have missed, and you should keep binging my channel so you get recommended more of my videos. The devil said so. Now I'm going to go eat ass. This, this Joe Cronin guy's hilarious. I'm going to eat his kids and, and F his dog.